हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल इन रेविट आर्किटेक्चर 2024 फॉर बिगिनर्स आई एम आर्किटेक्ट सोनो राय फ्रॉम ग्लैड स्टूडियो एंड इन दिस टुडे वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू मॉडिफाइंग टूल्स इन रेविट सो हाउ टू यूज मॉडिफाइंग टूल्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस सो यू कैन सी दिस इज जस्ट ए प्लान हियर बेसिक प्लान इन रेविट and now i will tell you how to use modifying tools so you can simply se uh, select here in your ribbon panel modify and if you will select here you can see this is modifying tools here in the modify tab here you can see this is align first one is align then next one is offset of and you can see a mirror pick axis mirror draw axis you can see here split element split with a gap you can see here unpin pin and you can see here scale how to scale this one is array command you can see this is move and this one is copy and, and rotate and trim extend to corner trim extend to single element trim extend multiple elements so this you all you should know to uh, draw your plan and like in autocad you can use this in revit so these are the modifying tools and it's these are very important so first i'm going to discuss with you align and i will tell you you can also select any of the wall and you can go to your modify tool directly here and you can start editing and see here modify walls so now i'm going to click on to modify and now i'm going to select align shortcut command is al so you can see here definition aligns one or more elements with the selected element so now i'm going to select this align and you can see here in the down of the window here in the left side you can see here please select line or point reference for alignment so i'm going to select this as a my uh, alignment here and i'm going to select this and now i am going to select this wall here and you can see this is aligned here with this wall so likewise you can use this align tool and next i will draw a wall here suppose this is a wall and this is in inclined another wall here so i want to align this so i am going to select modify here and i am going to align you can type shortcut command al also so i am going to select this wall and in you can select next wall here and this is aligned with this wall so you can uh, repeat vice versa also i am going to select this wall and now i am going to select this one and this is aligned with this wall so likewise you can use align tool so shortcut command is al next i am going to select offset so offset command is used to copy or move a selected element such as a line wall or beam so you can do offset just like in autocad where we used to type o and here you will type of for offset so i'm going to select this offset so suppose i want to extend this wall here to this wall and i'm i want to draw some store room here so i will select this offset here and you can Uh, define your offset distance here so you can select from graphical or numerical so we will select numerical here so numerical means how much you want 1 ft 2 ft 3 ft 4 ft and you can also select copy if you want to uh, continuously make an offset so i'm going to put here uh, 7 ft here or 8 ft so i'm going to select 8 ft and i'm going to define this distance of offset as 8 ft and now i'm going to offset this wall so if you'll bring a uh, toward mouse downwards here this will be offset downwards and if you'll uh, take your mouse little upwards it will be offset towards upper side and if you'll bring downwards it will be downside if you'll bring to upwards your mouse it will be upward side so i want to uh, offset downward side so i'm going to So, uh, click on once and you can see this is offset and you can extend this wall and you can also uh, use this trim extend corner you can select this and you can simply select this wall and this wall this is just like a flat here so this is drawn here again i want to offset this uh, to here i want to make one store room and one as a bathroom so i will again select of i will give a distance of 7 ft for this and i am going to 
draw a offset point here and you can see this has taken all the walls here i have offset a whole wall but i don't need this one because i just want to make a small bathroom here so for this what you will do you can simply select this wall and you can use this split element sl and you can just uh, make an split here and you can say this wall is separated so i'm going to delete this wall and you can simply drag this wall inside so this is offset from this wall so now i again i'm going to offset this so this time i'm going to take nine feet and we'll offset this nine feet and we'll make another a uh, room here or some kind of machinery equipment so this is just to make you understand i am going to draw some doors here so this is drawn here so this is the use of offset here now i am going to discuss with you mirror pick axis and mirror draw axis so what is the difference you will understand so this one is mirror pick axis mm shortcut command and you can see it reverses the position of selected element using an existing line or edges as the mirror axis so suppose i am going to draw a wall here and i am going to place a door so we'll place a door here in this room and i want a, a mirror of this door here so i'm going to select this door and i'm going to use mirror pick axis so i'm going to pick an axis and i'm going to pick this center line and you can see this is the mirror of this axis here so this is how to use mirror pick axis so you can go to modify here and this one is draw axis so you are required to draw an axis to draw a mirror of this so suppose i want to draw a mirror of this here so i'm going to select this and now i'm going to use this mirror draw axis and i'm going to draw axis from here till here and you can see this is the mirror of this wall here so this is the use of mirror draw axis so it draws a temporary line to use an axis of mirroring so likewise you can use this mirror axis so again i want to draw a door here and i am going to use this mirror draw axis and i am going to draw a temporary axis here you can see this is drawn here so you can select here and you can use this move tool mv and you can move inside here again uh, if you want to change the position of the door you can simply do this by flip position so likewise you can use this mirror draw axis and this one you can use this trim extend to corner and you can just select this wall with this wall and this is trim extend to corner here and this is just like a fillet in autocad so you can place any door here if you want place a door so likewise you can use mirror draw axis and we can analyze your difference here mirror pick axis and mirror draw axis so this one is shortcut command mm this one is tm so next is split just now i have explained how to use split command so suppose if you want to split any uh, wall here or any object you can use this so suppose i want to split these two walls here so i'm going to place a split tool here and you can see this wall is separated from this wall and you can uh, change this thickness of this wall if you want if you want to some other uh, interior partition you can use this partition wall here so likewise you can use this split and this one is split with a gap so this will uh, create a gap between uh, object or wall so this one is without gap and it will cut with a split so i'm going to select this and you can see here joint gap is one inch so i'm going to use here and you can see this is with a one inch gap here so this is split with a gap and again i'm going to select this and now this time i'm going to take as a one feet what happens this is a one feet gap so likewise you can use this split with a gap in rabbit here so this one is 
unpin so suppose anything is locked here and you can unpin it by using this up and unpin tool and this one is for locking pin means locking locks a model element in a place so suppose i want to select this wall and i am going to select this wall and i am going to use <coughs> lock here i am going to use this lock tool and you can see this is locked here so if you move here I am not able to move this wall and door also these both are locked so if you want to unpin it you can use unpin so suppose I am going to select this wall and you can also do this from here okay, it will be unpinned or you can simply select this wall and you can use this unpin tool from here so the, now you can move easily here so this is the use of unpin and pin so you can lock and unlock here this one is for delete so simply if you want to uh, delete anything suppose i want to delete this wall i am going to use this cross or you can press delete from your shortcut keyboard so in the next class i am going to discuss with you a scale command and array tool and the move and the rest uh, commands we will also discuss so this was the tutorial for the today's session in the next session we will continue with the modifying tools so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel bye bye